Uh, hey kids, my name is Seth W. Boy. What does the W stand for? What? Seth White Boy. So are you kids ready to learn about a land before time? How many of you know what this is? A tooth? A fossil? Well, you're right. This is the tooth of a Spinosaurus. What do you know about that animal? It's a dinosaur, with the things on its back, like the one in the movie that killed the T-Rex. That's correct. Spinosaurus did live during the Cretaceous period, which was millions and millions of years ago, and it did have a sail on its back. But did you know it was bigger than a T-Rex and it was also semi-aquatic? Velociraptors are commonly known as the smartest and most dangerous dinosaurs. But there's another species that are bigger, smarter, and deadlier. They're called Deinonychus, and they're known for their terrible claw. Were they as smart as dolphins? Well, probably not as smart as a mammal like that, but for a dinosaur, they are very intelligent and salty. I would not want to be stuck in a room with any of these. Now, do you know what the winged creatures that lived around that time were called? Pterodactyls. Uh, not quite. They're called pterosaurs. The largest was probably Quetzalcoatlus, which was named after an Aztec god. While they lived among dinosaurs, they weren't exactly in the same species. Now, I've saved the best for last. Some of the deadliest creatures to walk the earth. The eight world wonders. Well, half of them. First, Titanoboa, a snake the length of a school bus. It could swallow a motorcycle whole. I don't really like snakes, though, or anything without legs. Sarcosuchus, also known as Super Croc, was the largest crocodile that ever lived. Chronosaurus, named after the leader of the Greek Titans, was a water creature and among the largest pliosaurs. And finally, the real apex predator, the king of the seas, your worst nightmare, Megalodon. Now, to give you an idea how big this thing is, I'll do a comparison. This is the tooth of a modern great white shark. They grew up to about 20 feet. And this is Megalodon's tooth. Could it eat anything? Well, considering the fact that it had the strongest bite force of anything in the world, yes, it could eat any animal, as long as that animal was in the water. See, these are the kind of things they don't teach you in college. College is important. You should go. That's true, that's true. Any more questions? Why does your hair look like ramen noodles? 
Your hair looks like ramen noodles. Is that a compliment? It's cute. Is that a compliment? Well, I think that's all for me today, so you were good kids and it was nice teaching you about dinosaurs, so uh, goodbye. Can you bring the dinosaurs back to life? Well, it's probably best that they went extinct. If they didn't, we probably would have instead. But aren't some of them friendly? Yeah, but I think some things should just stay in the past. Here, take this. And if you want to see a real dinosaur, just look up in the sky. Wait, you forgot your briefcase. Hey, Keith, can I borrow your bike? Sure thing, Seth. Hey, thanks. Hmm. Sounds close. The blue.
Hey! Hey. Uh, come on in! The water's fine! Yeah. What's over, huh, Bob? Mm, Bob? I'm not sure. There were screaming and sirens and... Dude, are you okay? Uh, I think so. Anyways, happy 23rd. Got you this. Oh, thanks. You know, you're the only one that showed up. Yeah. Hey, where's Jenny? She had to go to work, but she'll be back soon. Alright. Can I have a drink or something? No. Just kidding. Real quick? No, so does like candy. I'll take milk. Pole or true move? Pole. You know it. We should go get Robert. Oh, hey, Seth. Hey, Robert. Hey, uh, I heard a lot of commotion going on outside. Know anything about that? He told me about, uh, screaming and sirens. Nah, that makes sense. What time is it anyways? Almost four, I think. Have you guys had dinner yet? No, but I want an alligator kebab. They have a Metsu bar down the road. We should go get some. Yeah. Hey, uh, bring back some food. All right, you stay right here. Uh, we'll bring back some takeout. Uh, what do you want? Alligator kebab, duh. We should bring a camera in case something weird happens again. I think we have one somewhere. Let me go check. What did you see? Um, I remember seeing something large. Oh. Got it. So how's work at the shop? Great. Robert's daughter loves her job at the greenhouse. Uh, how old is she anyway? 20, I think. Why? Mm -hmm. So how's your job? Still discovering new species. I love teaching people about it when I get the chance. Ah, love. How's your love life? Uh, I don't believe in that sort of thing anymore. Why not? Uh, I don't really want to talk about it. Oh, Amber! Oh, okay. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, I brought that up. It's fine. I just, just saw a future with her. She just, just stopped loving me, I guess. Oh, yeah, I remember. It never lasts. Abby, Alice, Amy, April. They always got real pretty before they left. Amber Vuzz pretty cool. You telling me? Apparently, my hair looks like ramen noodles to her. She left me for some cocky jock. Happy New Year. Zach, leave him alone! He shouldn't have talked to you. I just wanted to ask her something. It's not like you own her. Quiet, white boy. The lady made her decision. Now leave her the fuck alone. Ugh, he left me for this lumberjack? Wrong answer, man. Hey, everybody likes ramen noodles. Thanks, Georg. You're a good friend. Where are those noises coming from? I don't know, but let's hurry up and get to the bar. It's this way.
would you do that? Those giants startled me. And my anatidophobia. They're just... They're just Quetzalcoatlus. Wait a minute. They're Quetzalcoatlus? Am I the only one who realizes this? Where's the camera? I think I zopped it back there. Well, let's go back and get it. No, I am not going back to those monsters. Fine, fine, fine. We'll, we'll pick it up on the way back. Do you think we're safe up here? Why wouldn't we be? We're too big for them to eat. Now, are we closer to the bar or home? Uh, the bar. I just can't believe there are actually living dinosaurs! Quetzalcoatlus isn't really a dinosaur. Prehistoric reptiles, Congress, whatever. We're really close now. Do you see dinosaurs or anything? No, mostly trees. Hey! You kids aren't supposed to be here. We're closed for the summer. Oh, we were just on the way to the bar. Have you seen any dinosaurs? What? <laughs> ah! 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 Oh, shit! Oh. That hurt. Do you want to take you to a hospital? To hell with that! I'm going home. What? What is this? Just... just play it. What the hell? Wait, wait, go back. That's what we saw earlier on the mountain. Wait, what's happening? I don't know. There's prehistoric reptiles out there. How? I don't know. Someone got abducted by a Quetzi. What the? Oh, come on. What happened? The power's out. Come on, Seth. I need to show you something. Okay. All right, I guess I'll go check on the goddamn basement. <sighs> Georg? Yes, Robert? What's that? 
I think it was your grandfather's. Let me see. April 28, 1944. My name is George A., and I am here to document everything I can about what I am going to do. A few days ago, British bombers attacked Munchkin, Germany, and uh, during this attack, the few Spinosaurus fossils in existence were destroyed at the Paleontology Museum here in Munchkin. This made me realize how hard it can be to preserve history. And when I went out searching for fossils in Egypt, examining a bone of Spinosaurus, I found something, something amazing. Tissue preserved safely inside, which contained millions of strands of DNA within. After this, I realized there could be a better way, and there should be a better way, of preserving history. And so I began a project which I have dubbed RPOS, the Resurrection of Prehistoric Organisms for Science. I will recruit the best genetics experts and paleontologists that I know. I am to send out as many paleontologists as possible all around Europe to find ancient DNA that still exists, such as soft tissue in bones. I plan to send them all around the world, and after this, well, I will record everything related to my experiments here. April 30th, 1944. I have recruited almost all of the RPOS members I had in mind, but we still need money. I will try to get it funded. May 11th, 1944. I had to do a lot of convincing with the Fuhrer to get RPOS funded this time. He said he would fund it if we use the giant carnivorous dinosaurs for war. I don't like this idea, but I need the money. May 21st, 1944. I have a lab specially built for the RPOS. We have parts of DNA strands for many more prehistoric animals from across the world. We can use DNA from modern-day birds and crocodiles to complete the strands for the dinosaurs. Soon we will begin the building of the cloning machines and bring the extinct organisms back to life. The only problem that I have found is that the cloning machine has to has to has to be over a body of water to work. Something I don't understand. Hmm. But if I do this right, they should be able to spawn for a long, long stream of time. June 21st, 1944. Last month, the area my lab was in was raided by American forces, and so was the lab. They took all of the DNA strands, files, and the unfinished cloning machines. The majority of my scientists were killed, but I managed to escape. April 30th, 1945. Hitler died today in his Führer bunker in Berlin. Since he was involved in RPOS and most of my peers are gone, I've decided to dedicate my life to getting back everything they took and bringing back the extinct organisms that I first set out to. I have a lot of money left over from the budget, so I will spend it on travel to America to find what they took and expand upon it. As a scientist, no, as a human being, I have to finish RPOS. I think I have an idea where these dinosaurs are coming from. What? What does it say? My grandfather started a program during World War II to bring extinct animals back to life. But his work was stolen, so he went to America to get it back. You don't mean... Yes. These animals could have something to do with my grandfather. Well, we need to tell the police. Is it police? Seth! We can't tell those people about this. Well, well what if they've already found out? Well, maybe they have. But we don't even know for sure if that's actually where these monsters are coming from. Uh, monsters? Is the thing we saw on the mountain? Okay, that was pretty weird. For now, we just need to stay inside until the army comes. The army? You're your animals, not kaiju. 
Well, they're still very dangerous. Look, we can't be sure. Even if there are big carnivorous dinosaurs out there, they're not going to come bursting through the walls. Yeah, you're right. We're safe. Wait a minute, my daughter's still at work? She should be home by now. It's going to be dark soon. Robert, I'm sure she's just running late. Here, let me call her. Wait, she didn't answer? I'm gonna go pick her up before anything happens. Well, can't she just drive home? She rides a bike. Oh, well, I'll come with you. Guys, if you don't even know if they're- I don't care! All I know is she could be in danger, and that's enough for me to take action! Come on, Georg. You'll be okay. Well, I, I... Okay. Georg, are you asleep? Guess you wouldn't mind me skimming the journal. Wow. So, this is bone tissue. Hey, Robert, this is fascinating. And the guy managed to extract DNA from this. Oh, dang it. Oh, slow down, Robert! Ah, shit! <laughs> Uh, who cares? We're here. I, I think uh, I uh, stay in the car. Uh, you know, in case she comes out and I see her. Uh, okay, you stay here. We'll be right back. Jenny! Oh my god. Dean, Dean, what?
Georg, let me drive. Georg just fainted! Oh, great! Holy crap, Robert! Do you not realize we just got attacked by Denonicus? Yeah, Jenny wasn't even there! Can we please go home now? She might be there now. Georg, why don't you give a shit about your sister? I mean... I, I mean my daughter. Robert, Georg probably does care. He just doesn't want us to die. We almost got killed back there. Not until I know my daughter is safe. Call her again, please. My phone's dead. Okay, fine. I'll just... Ugh, left it at home. Don't look at me. I forgot to bring mine in the first place. Ugh, this is the worst day ever. Well, do you have any ideas where she might be? Uh, well, usually after work, she likes to go to that cheesesteak deli in town. Okay, let's just go and see if she's there. And if she's not, we can go back home and call the police. Well, all right. We'll find her. Hmm. Now what? We will go no further, for here begins the land of phantoms. Hey, we were saving that. Wait, are you? Yep. Well, if we go by water, we should be safer, since most dinosaurs aren't the best swimmers. So you are? It's safe. Does the river even lead the town? You know it. All right. Now who's coming? Well, I... Uh, okay. Hey, can I see that? Whoa, sure is spooky out here. Hello? Anyone home? So, Robert, you seem pretty determined to find your daughter. That's good. Yeah, well, she's all I have left. I did have a wife. I met her back in my early days in high school. Eventually, I convinced her to join the military with me, and in 2002, we fought in Afghanistan. We were the best duo in the whole squad. We fought and strategized for hours. Nothing could beat Robin's medical skills. Nothing except... When I returned home, I promised in my wife's name to protect Jenny with my life. Robert, that's... I'm, I'm so sorry, I never knew. Hey, I promise we'll find her. Oh my gosh. Get off the floaty now! No, don't! <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Somebody just died. This is way worse than I thought. We need to get inside right now. What if there are dinosaurs in there too? Well, I doubt they can open up doors. Let's get high. What? Let's go upstairs. Okay. you people and how did you get in? We came in through the front door. We figured we'd be safe in here from the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? <laughs> oh those little critters. Well Carlos is out there hunting them right now so I can do research on them of course. 
Here, uh, let me show you. Welcome to my lab. This is where I do my witchcraft. So, why are you dressed like a wizard? Why are you dressed like a pimp? I am a wizard. He is a wizard. I met him a few years ago. He put a spell on me that makes my Hawaiian shirt blue sometimes. Like now. The name's Ujamar, by the way. My name's Seth. These are my friends Georg and Robert. Would you like to join my Wicca school? I'm planning on turning the whole building into one. Eh, no thanks. I'm actually a paleontologist. Well, the least you could do is pass some flyers out to your friends. Uh... Thanks. Hey, Ujmar, you haven't seen a girl with black hair and a red and white beanie, have you? Can't say that I have. Well, actually... What the blaze was that? Probably Carlos. Uh, Ujmar. Carlos got eaten by a Spinosaurus before we came in. Oh. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, maybe I can bring him back to life with my Wicca powers. Do you have any weapons? No. Carlos only had one gun. But we don't need any. I have magic and elixir. Wait, did you see the girl or not? I think so. My memory is kind of fuzzy, though. Yo, Ujamar, where are you at? Quick, hide, hide, hide! Well, looky, looky here. Mr. Ujamar, fashionably not paying us our money for that elixir we sold him. Sorry, guys, just been uh, busy. Yeah, you're supposed to pay us back two weeks ago. Time's up, boy. Well, uh... Just give me, give me a few more weeks. Well, I'm gonna bust a cap on your ass. Wait! Ah, oh, shit, a pimp! Oh, what it is, big boy pimpy? Uh, I think you guys should introduce yourselves first. Ah, oh, shit, anything for a pimp. My name is Lapufa, this is Badonka, and that's Craig. Hey. I'm Sid Scott. Scott White, uh, Black. Man. Scott Blackman. Hey, don't be racist now. Uh, how about you don't be racist now? Hey, back off, boy! <gasps> Wait. That's Seth White Boy. He's a paleontologist. Shut up, Craig. He's clearly a pimp. Look at that big ass chain! Bruh, I think Craig's telling the truth. I seen this dude on TV. So, he isn't a pimp? Wait, I can explain. Wait, you lied to us? Nobody lies to Badonka. Wait. Seth White Boy, as in the Seth White Boy? Wait a minute, this cracker did our boy's hoe. Zach's bitch. You know, the little redhead slut. Well, I'm going to sit down now. You know, I heard she was choking on some cock just yesterday. With her tiny, soft, gentle feet. How does it feel, white boy? You date a whore. That's it! You freaking punk! How dare you speak of ever like that! You can never be half the person she is! Bitch, I'm like an Amber 2.0. Don't get mad at me because he wasn't good enough to be with a skank. Hey, 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 hey! I'm still sitting. Seth! A Nazi? He is not a Nazi. Like, we're gonna believe you liars again. Let's bust a cap in these fools. Yeah, just like we did to that crazy black haired girl. Didn't she beat us up though? Yes, Craig, but we don't want them to know that. Wait, 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 wait. Did she have a red and white beanie? Yeah, she was fine. I'll kill you! Now, fly you fools! Take my 
my research. Father? What the blaze? Oh, well that's convenient. Why'd you try and kill us, Mr. Ray? <sighs> you, you see, my brain was altered. Then I spliced my DNA. I, I, something, it didn't go right and, uh, I, uh, we need to get you to the hospital. Oh, no. No, I, I think the hospital is, is filled up with too many of people that I've caused a problem for. How'd you become a dinosaur? Well, what happened was, you see, I wanted to uh, splice my DNA with that of a Deinonychus for the purpose of staying alive so that I could finish the project. But, um, well, mistakes were made. I guess it all went uh, haywire, as you say in America, you know. So they are coming from the cloning machines. I want you three to destroy what I have created. How? What you must do is you must blow it up from the center. It's in the middle of Boa Lake. If you don't see it, then it is, it has sunk into the bottom. But you must destroy it. You must destroy and kill this horrible creation of mine. But by us. Why you? Well, you're a war veteran. You, you're a, what, a pimp? Paleontologist. <laughs> Close enough. And you, Georg, why, you must do it because you are my grandson. You must help your grandpapa. Yeah? I'm sure that all of you have been through some very, very tough times in your lives. I'm sure all of you have seen some some crazy shit. I know I have. But no matter what happens, you have to keep on pushing, pushing. Do you understand me? <clears throat> pushing. Don't stop pushing. And please, promise me, promise me. And you, Georg, promise me. You will always take care of each other. This is very important. And never, never, Ever forget that you, you are all thugs! You are thugs! Do you understand me? Never forget. Auf Wiedersehen.
Guys, we gotta go. Now what? I have an idea. Let's kill ourselves. Whoa! Hold your horses, Keyword. Where'd you find that? Doesn't matter. Wait a minute. The potions! We're, I, we're, we're sorry about your granddad. It's okay. What just happened was pretty amazing. Yeah. Oh no, the cloning machines! What are we gonna do? Call the police. Like they'll ever believe us. We have evidence. We'll show them the journal. Nine. Nine. We have to do it ourselves. The way grandfather wanted. Okay, well, where are we gonna find a bomb? Well, you might not know this, Seth, but in the military, I specialized in explosives. So you can. Yeah, nuke them, fry them, blast their asses back to hell. I could do that. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get back to you guys' house and make a bomb. Guys! Alright, I made us this bomb and I hooked it up with a wireless remote so we could set it off when we're far enough away. Sounds good, but where is Boba Lake? Well, that's the thing. I looked through all my maps and I couldn't find anything under that name. Probably restricted. Wait a minute. My granddad's journal had mentioned something about a new workspace in America. Well, did it say where? I think so. I'll go get it. I'm kind of worried about Keyword. Yeah, I know. This whole experience can't be good for him. He's not the most stable person, if you know what I mean. He's had a real rough childhood. No real family, no real friends, except maybe Jenny. Jorg, we need the... Oh yeah, let's just use this emotionally disturbed kid's grandfather's journal! No family, no friends. It's not like Jenny was a sister to him or something. Oh come on man, you know that's not what he meant. Shut the fuck up, Seth! You're such an unthoughtful jerk! It's why Amber left you. Whoa. Chill. You shut the fuck up too! You never fucking cared for me, and you killed my fucking grandfather! Whoa, Jorg, alright? That wasn't my fault. I was trying to save Seth. I didn't know your grandfather had turned into some kind of monster.
Uh, quick, quick, hide, hide, hide. Well, howdy. Hello, officer. Hey, what would you be doing in a restricted area? Oh, uh, you know, just an old fishing trip. Fishing trip? What's that? Oh. <laughs> Look, sir, I used to be an explosive technician for the military. Me and my friends here, we figured out where all these dinosaurs are coming from. And if you don't let us into that lake to blow up their headquarters, uh, the whole world's going to end. So, you know, move along. Uh. Officer, you got to believe me. I have evidence. Tell it to the judge. There won't be a judge. You're goddamn right. Oh, whoa, where are you going? Code 1079, headed towards Boa Lake. So, the legend is true. Sir, please! I'm telling the truth! Don't you think we're trying to figure everything out? Oh my god! Get in the car! Yeah, 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 yeah! Go, 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 go! Come on, come on, come on! Get in! Go, go, come on, come on! Go, go, go! The, the keys! The keys! Where are my keys? I don't know! Do you have my keys? No! Uh, oh, oh no! Back up! Back up! We need help! Come on! Hey! Bone monkey! Come to daddy. Yeah, I found something back at the house, and I remembered. I may have lost a big part of my family last night, but I still have one. Hey! Hey, we're having a moment here! No, I meant hey as in hey, let's get out of here. Oh. No, we have to get a friend! Well, where is he? In the lake. Why is he in the lake? To stop the dinosaurs, that's where they're all coming from. How would you know that? Look, it's a long story, pal. George! The cuffs! Oh, right! Shouldn't have talked to you. 
I just wanted to ask her something. It's not like you own her. Quiet, white boy. The lady made her decision. Now leave her the fuck alone. Ugh, you love me for this, lumberjack? Wrong answer, man. Where's my goddamn backup? Backup! Where's my backup? Set! Set! Oh, he's alive. Oh, no. I said, I. Oh, my God, a Titanoboa. Oh, shit, I'm out. Extinct, you snake bitch! Alright, guys, let's get him out of here. Hey, home base, it's Officer Marcus Supa. I need some, uh, I need an ambulance. This guy's hurt. I still don't exactly know how these animals got here, but one thing's for sure. If it wasn't for those men, I wouldn't be alive. Whatever it was that brought this disaster, they found a way to stop it. Most of these prehistoric reptiles have been captured by the military and animal control and are to be studied and put into safe habitats. Well, he is a paleontologist, so he does know a lot about dinosaurs. Maybe that's how he figured it out? Do you think they had anything to do with the start of it? No. Seth was against that kind of thing. It seemed like they were just trying to get through it like everybody else. Seth Whiteboy was hospitalized shortly afterwards. His acquaintances, Georg A. and Robert Gacy, are currently not taking questions. Hey, Georg. Sorry I couldn't get you a real present. You know me, always running behind. But nobody's perfect. Hopefully all the fun and excitement that only birthdays can bring will come for you today. You've made my life a whole lot better, and I hope I've made yours too. As a friend, no, as a person, you're amazing. Seth. You know, your dad warned me all this shit would go down. I didn't believe him, though. Why didn't my dad just take care of me? I don't know. I haven't seen that guy in forever. Though, well, you've done a pretty good job of taking care of me. I'm sorry about what I said at the house. It's okay. I let you guys down. I should have never let you and Seth leave that house. But what if we never left the house? That's a good point. I don't know. But you got, you ended up turning out to be a pretty good kid. 
Thanks. I try. Have you seen Jenny anywhere? Uh, Jenny? No. <gasps> Baby girl. Jenny. Hey guys. Zef! Zef! Ow, my arm! Ah! How did you get out? What did you see? All I remember is darkness. Well, that's amazing, kid. What's amazing is all the questions those men in black asked me. I don't give a fuck about that. Have you seen Jenny? Um, well, actually... Dad? Jenny! Dad! Jenny! <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been? Do you know how worried I've been about you? I was just trying to survive like everyone else, Dad. When I went home, Seth was at the door. We figured you guys would be here. Well, what happened to you? It's kind of a long story. Uh, I did meet a wizard, though. <laughs> he was really weird. Yeah, same. But I thought that gang busted a cap in your ass. <laughs> you know, I always wore a bulletproof vest to work. That's my girl. Maybe you are ready to join the foot. Hey, Jorg, wanna come to the cheesesteak deli with me and Jenny? No, thanks. I think you guys should have some father and daughter time. <laughs> All right. Seth? Um, can't. Have somewhere I need to be. Well, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, thanks for everything, Robert. No problem. <laughs> oh, Seth. You know, you think we could hang out sometime? I, uh... I really want to know some more about those dinosaurs and uh fuck you seem like a cool cat. Um yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Here's my number. Cuck. You are a cuck. You know what's funny, I was about to ask you the same thing. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. All right, Jenny, let's blast. Bye, guys. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Catch you on the flip side. Hey, what are you doing here anyways? Oh, you know, it's my melancholy hill. Wow, so cool. Hey, I'm uh, sorry your birthday didn't turn out the way you thought it would. It's okay. In some ways it was the best ever. And I'm sorry about what I said before. You're not an unthoughtful jerk. Yeah, and your grandfather wasn't a bad guy. Yeah, I know. It's just... Hey, Doug. Wanna get an alligator kebab? Yeah. <laughs>